well hello there my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friends welcome to my channel i am val and this is my channel vanity val um happy to have you here so i need to set up the cricket and all that stuff because today we are going to be doing halloween stickers which explains why i am so festive and welcome to my room and my face i never show my face well anyways enjoy this special treat I'll see you guys in a few after we set up everything and let's get to making some weenie stickers Hey bougie witch, are you ready? Let's light up our pumpkin spice wax melters and let's get started with the Halloween festivities. Are you guys excited? Cause I'm excited. So here are some of the stickers that I have already created with my Cricut and I'm gonna be showing you how I create a few of them. And I have my little Betty all set up, AKA my Cricut. It's a Cricut Air Joy 2. I will be linking it down in the description box below. And here is some of the vinyl decal paper that I use to make my stickers i also get it from amazon and here are some of the ideas that i have written down for this boopy sticker video and i got my notebook from spirit halloween and it makes me feel super witchy and festive so let's begin so the number one question that i always get asked when it comes to my cricut stickers is where do i get my images from and i usually get my images from pinterest or google so what i do is i go on google and i like to search up free for example scream svg and svg I don't really know what they are, but I know they're clean images that you could easily clean up in your Cricut and they're easy to use with your Cricut or your Silhouette machine, whichever sticker machine you have. And it's always important to search up free because you don't want to steal anyone's images because I do know that some people actually make SVG images for a living and you do not want to steal someone's work and I would feel really, really guilty doing that. So I don't suggest you guys do that. So let's get started. So I'm going to go on my phone because that's where I have my Cricut app and I'm going to click on my Cricut app and then I'm going to open up a selected photo album for my selected photos and I named this one Spoopy Stickers and here are a couple free images that I got from Google and from Pinterest and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on my screen mask and when you click on it, it appears larger like this and now you need to clean it up. So we're going to click on the wand in the lower left corner with the little lines coming out of it and we are just going to click on the white parts of this picture and it's going to delete the white parts and once we are done cleaning it up we are going to click next on the upper right hand corner and it should take this to this page it's the refine page and we don't really need to refine it so we're going to click next again and then it's going to take you to this page that says save image and i'm just going to name it scream and then i'm going to click next and then i'm going to click on the image again because it's now saved and it should pop up on my cricut mat and it should allow you to resize it and this is the size that i ended up sizing my screen face it is 0 0.38 inches width by 0 0.87 inches height and once I am done sizing it, I'm going to go to the bottom of my Cricut mat and I'm going to click on the two squares on the bottom that say action. And I'm going to click on the action that says duplicate. And when you click on the action that says duplicate, you could click on it as many times as you want and it'll duplicate the image for you. So I want a couple of these little screen faces. So I'm going to duplicate as much as I want. And once I am done going to click on the little green button in the lower right hand corner that says make it and it's going to take you to this screen right here and it's going to show you the following steps that you need to take after you connect your Cricut to your Wi-Fi. Okay, so after you're done connecting your Cricut to your Wi-Fi, here are the three steps that you need to do. Number one is set your material. Number two is load your tools and your mat. And number three is press go. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to set my Cricut to the material vinyl. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do step number two, which is load my mat and my tools. And then I'm going to go ahead and do step number three, which is press go. And look at our little baby go. And she's going to go ahead and she's going to create these little stickers and until she is finished and this is what your screen should look like while it's cutting your stickers and it's going to do this until the whole entire circle is filled 
and once it is done you are going to unload your cricut with this button right here and voila you have little scream stickers look how cute so I went ahead and I decorated our little spooky face so you guys could see what he looks like on the nail. And if you guys want to see how I apply my stickers, stay tuned towards the end of the tutorial. I will show you guys how I apply them. And I also got a lot of questions from last week's video on what the measurements were for the little Jason hockey mask. And the measurements were 0.6 inches by 1.79 inches. If you guys are curious, so just screenshot this right here. And those are the measurements. And now I feel like creating little pumpkins. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my orange uh, vinyl paper. I'm going to slap it on my mat and I'm going to load my Cricut and let's get started. Okay, friends, so we're going to do the use. We're going to pick out our little image, and then we're going to clean it up with that little wand tool. And once we are done cleaning it up, we are going to click Next. And we do not need to refine it, so we are going to be clicking Next again. And so after we click Next, we are going to save it by naming it whatever we want. And once we're done saving it, we're going to click on it again, and it'll be uploaded back onto our Cricut mat, and we are going to resize it. So the size that I chose for my little pumpkins is 0 0.30 inches width by 0 0.30 inches height. So screenshot that if you guys want a little mini pumpkins for your nails. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click the bottom button with the little squares, and I'm going to click the duplicate ap action. And then I'm going to make as many little pumpkins, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create them and i'm going to be following steps one two and three and this is what our pumpkin should look like afterwards you guys woohoo okay spooky boo so now i want to make little ghosts so i'm going to skip the cleaning up process to speed things up and this is the size that i made my little ghost 0.30 inches width by 0.34 inches height and i'm just going to duplicate because i love these little ghosts and i want to make a million of them and i am going to click create and this is what my little ghosts look like afterwards super cute super bougie that was pretty whack but cute right <laughs> Well, all right, friend, we're moving on to our last nail sticker of the day. So I'm going to slap on some black vinyl paper onto my Cricut mat. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean up these little bats that I found on Google. And once we are done cleaning them up, we are going to save them. And they should pop up back on our Cricut mat once we click on them again. And we are just going to resize them. And the size that I ended up making these little bats are 0 0.86 inches width by 1.79 inches height. And once I was done sizing them, I clicked create and I followed the steps. And this is what my stickers look like after I applied them. Okay, friends, so if you want to know how I apply my Cricut stickers, it's really simple. I just take my press-on nail that has already been painted and sealed with a clear gel nail polish. And I take my sticker and I make sure that I press it onto the surface of the nail nice and flat. And once I'm done, I seal it with a clear gel nail polish. Well, okay, spooky witch, thank you so much for watching this all the way to the very end. I love you so, 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 so much. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you guys like this tutorial. And please let me know if you have any other Cricut sticker ideas. I know a lot of you guys want to see an old English sticker tutorial, so that's coming up really, really soon. So thank you again for that idea. And again, thank you so much for watching to the very end. I hope you guys have a very spooky, spooky Halloweeny, And I hope you've at least gone out and picked a pumpkin, baby. Go out and pick a pumpkin. I love you so much. Please stay safe. Take care of yourself. Wash your hands. And I will see you next week. Goodbye. Thanks, friend.
bye girl